Welcome everyone to this intermediate Pilates based workout using a resistance band. I'm using an 80 inch or 200 centimeter band. So let's begin by standing, feet hip distance apart, holding onto your band. Just shrug the shoulders up to ears, roll them gently back and down. Just a couple of times to release any tension in your neck and your shoulders. Reaching the arms forward now, holding onto your band, you're going to lift up onto your toes, lower the heels as you do so, go down into a nice deep squat, breathing into lift onto toes, exhale to bend. Arms stay reaching out in front of you and you can add a little pull on that band if you want to add a little bit of extra work for your shoulders. Lift up, lower the heels, bend into the knees. Good lift balance challenge and bend. Inhale up, exhale to lower. Lift those heels and bend into the knees. Let's stay low on this one and punch those arms forward. Stay nice and low in that squat as you drive the arms forward. Inhaling, exhaling, keep breathing. Rise up onto the toes. Try and stand tall for that little extra balance and then lower down, well done. We're gonna do some single leg work now. So I want you to step forward onto the band with your left foot and then step through the band with your right foot. So just your back left leg or left foot is around the band. Keep your front knee directly over the ankle Left knee directly underneath your hip and then lower down into a lunge as you press forward with both arms. Again, this is where you need that nice long band so you can really feel the work through the whole of your body. Let's drive those arms forward as you bend into both knees. Now punch those arms, reach, inhale, exhale. Keep nice and low, that back knee is just off the ground. Front knee stays over the ankle. Up you come to relax. Well done. Let's change feet. So you step back onto the band with your right foot now. Step through the band with your left foot. Back foot into the band. And then drive forward with those arms. Knee under hip. Left knee over the ankle. Nice straight spine here. Try not to lean forward too much. Keep a nice upright posture. Drive those arms strong. Inhale up, exhale down. Now stay there. Let's punch those arms. Reach and reach. Keep spine nice and straight. Strong arms. Try and get them straight every time you punch those arms forward with the ends of the band. Up you come. Good job. All right, let's go down onto our mats now. Coming to sit down onto the band and your band will be around your feet here. So pull the front of your feet up to the fronts of the legs. Place the band nice and flat across the soles of the feet, the balls of the feet and just cross the band once in front of your toes. Hold on to the end, sitting up nice and tall on those sitting bones. We're going to go into some roll back movements here, some rowing movements. Let's pull the body forward, inhale to come to sit tall. So you're just rolling off the sitting bones here to roll back, pull that whole shape forward, then come back up to sit tall. Let's roll back again as you breathe out, come forward, breathe in, easy to come to sit tall. And again, exhale, roll, pull the arms back slightly on the band as you come back up to sit tall. Now here you're almost creating a circular frame with your arms. You're going to roll back, stay roll back, open the arms, pull them back as you dive forward over the legs, stay diving forward as you circle the arms forward, come back up to sit tall. Let's roll back again, circular frame with the arms, breathe out, stay there, open the arms, pull the arms back as you dive forward over the legs, circle the arms over the head, Back up to sit. It's great for shoulder stability, strength through those abdominals. Open the arms, pull them back, 
Circle, stabilize the shoulders here. Don't let them come too high to your ears. And then rolling backwards. Easy open, pull the arms back. Stay in that open position as you take the arms forward. Inhale to sit tall. Let's go again. Open the arms, pull them back. Feel those abdominals kick in there. Circle the arms over. Inhale, well done. You roll back here. Open, pull back one more time. Pull those arms, open over the head. Inhale to sit tall. Let's roll back here. You're gonna turn, punch the arms now to the side. Rotate to the other side, punch the arms. Back into center, split the arms, back into center and come forward. Let's repeat that again. You're gonna roll back off sitting bones. As you roll, you add a little oblique turn and then punch the arms. Center, twist to your right. Come into center, turning to your left. Arms nice and straight to your right. Into center, scoot the body forward, looking over the knees. All the way back up to sit tall. Good job, it's nice that back rowing work to get into those abdominals and some weight bearing through your upper body. Then slowly now rolling all the way down onto your mat, keeping the band around your feet. This is a great place here to try your full roll ups. Gently when you're ready, nod the chin. Exhale, smooth roll, one vertebrae at a time, coming all the way onto sitting bones, sit tall. Use the band gently to help you here. You're not pulling overly on that band. It's just there to help roll smoothly through the spine. This is great for those of you who struggle generally with a roll up. If you feel sticky in your lower back, it feels hard to roll up smoothly. The band can really be a great aid here. Nod the chin, don't pull too much on the arms. Just use the band to help you as you roll up. Stack your spine to sit tall. Let's go again, gently control the rolling down phase as well as the rolling up phase. Inhale, nod the chin. Exhale, roll through. Stack your spine to sit tall. Easy roll, one vertebrae at a time down onto the mat, head last of all lands, then nod the chin first. Roll smoothly to sitting bones, come all the way back up to sit tall all the way down as you breathe out. Well done. Let's here bend the knees, keep the band on your feet, elbows down and take the legs up into the air here. Holding the ends of the band fairly close to the ends of the band. Feel a little imprint into your lower back and extend the legs out on the diagonal and reach the arms directly behind you, almost in a V shape. Do a couple of these with the head down. And of course, you can always keep your head down. If you feel comfortable, nod the chin, scoop the upper body up, and let's carry on with those extensions of the legs and the arms. Feeling abdominals flattening as you extend the legs out, arms behind you, out you go, reaching as you breathe out with the legs, and the arms, inhale as you come back in towards the center. Exhale and inhale, resting your head. Well done, now we're gonna go through the classic Pilates teaser series. So at any stage you wish to stay with the previous exercise, then do so as we'll progress in stages. Gently nod the chin, roll up like you would do in your roll up, but come a little higher to the back of your sitting bones and then smoothly roll back down. It's important here to keep a little imprint feel through those abdominals so your back stays protected. Again, the band is a great way here to get up smoothly through that spine. So nod the chin, exhale to roll up. Let's reach the arms up. Rest them back by your side, slowly roll. So we're adding a little challenge every time. Nod the chin. Exhale to find that balance. Now let's straighten the legs. Straightening out the arms. Keep pushing away through your feet as you slowly come back down to the mat. Inhale to nod. Straighten out the arms. Start to straighten the legs as you roll. 
Try and push through the band. Reach those arms a little bit behind you. It's a great place to practice the teaser. Smoothly rolling back. Remember, you can stay at any stage. Go to the previous exercise if that's enough for you. You're doing well. This is tough. This is good, hard work. Slowly rolling back. Nod the chin again, pushing through the band, slightly pull back with the arms. And then push away with the feet slightly as you roll back to ensure a nice smooth return to the mat. Up you come, hold that teaser. Now let's add some arm pulls, slightly out and back. Just four of these. And then slowly back, wonderful. Now we're gonna add some legs. So nod the chin. Take your time to smoothly find your balance in that teaser. Now gently lower the legs. Use the exhale to support your lower back here. A couple more. Keep the arms still, head still. And then slowly roll. Well done. This is a hard series. Nod the chin. Up we come again. You're finding the back of those sitting bones. Now let's try arms and legs. Lower the legs. Pull back gently with the arms. Trying to keep that nice neutral upper mid back slightly wrapped under with your tailbone between the legs. Nice hold at the top. Good effort to roll all the way back down. Good job. That is tough. All right, rest the head back onto the mat, rest the feet down. Take one leg out, straighten it along the mat. Other leg stays in the band, just give those hamstrings hips, ankles, feet, everything, a little stretch and relax after those teasers. And extend the leg, taking your time at your own pace and whatever feels good for you. And then switch feet, other foot goes into the band, leg extends along the mat, shoulders are relaxed, elbows down in contact with the mat, head on the mat. And just straightening the other leg, little bend and little release. Let's put both feet back into the band. Just when you think it's over, we're coming up again. So nod the chin and find the balance of the back of the sitting bones. One leg is coming out of the band and that free leg just bends and straightens along the mat. It doesn't quite touch the mat, the band in the foot in the band it's just bending in towards you and straightening. Arms stay reaching. It's like a single leg stretch movement, this one. Let's switch. Other foot goes in. See if you can stay up there and switch. Exhale to extend the leg. Inhale to bend the knee and the band towards you. Arms stay still. Upper body working. Three. And two. And one. Well done. Bend those knees in, hold that final teaser position, it's beautiful. And then roll back to the mat, good job. Well done. Rest your head, rest your legs, rest your feet. Nod the chin gently, roll yourself up to sit. And then we're gonna to come to face lengthways on the mat now. So I'm going to have you roll your band out, lie down flat on the mat. It's important here so the band isn't ruffled up because you want it to stay nice and flat. And you're going to be kneeling fairly close to one end of the band, both knees on the band, and you're gonna take hold of the other end. You're then reaching the arms over the head. So in this case, you can have your right hand in the band overhead and your other arm is reaching out in a nice straight, strong line. It's almost like a crossbow. You're pressing that arm out straight, keeping a nice straight spine, a little imprint slightly. Now hold the reaching arm straight and the arm above your head is going into those tricep presses. Try here to only move at your elbow, really targeting the back of your arm. Inhale, exhale to straighten. We're gonna repeat that set. So drive the arm out, keep the arm above your head reaching. We'll do another eight of these. 
breathing comfortably, no tension in the neck or your shoulders, reach that arm and then extend the arm up over the head. Let's go for three, exhale, four, five, straightening the arm, six, seven, and eight, and rest that arm, well done. Now taking that leg, putting it into the band, and I'm just resting down onto my fist here with my free arm. You can have your hand flat or even up on a block if you prefer. Keep your other hand anchored with the end of the band to the top of the hip and just kick the leg up into space against the resistance of the band. Great for the outside of our hips, our glutes, our core strength. Now bend the elbow, bend the knee and extend the arm and the leg out. So you pull the knee and elbow and extend. Try and keep the foot that's in the band nice and high. So really working into the top hip as you drive the arm and the leg out. Elbow to knee, back in. Now hold the arm and the leg straight. Let's pulse that top leg up. Little pulses, keep going. Four more, three, two, last one. Good job. All right, let's switch. So move the end of the band to the other end. You're going to kneel on that end now. So you've got plenty of band to work with. This is again where you need that nice long band. Reach the band slightly over the head, holding on with the arm above you. And the other arm is going to punch straight out, straight to the side. Try and keep that right hand, elbow, shoulder in alignment as you punch out. Other arm stays reaching directly overhead. Let's go three. And extend the arm straight overhead now, eight of these. Six more, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's repeat that series now. Bend and stretch the other arm, eight, seven, six, good, five, exhale, four, three, straighten it for two, last one, hold that arm straight, top arm, triceps, six more, five, nearly there, four, three, exhale, two, last one, hold those arms straight and strong and rest them, well done, feel those shoulders, yes, give them a little shrug, little release, we're going to reach the other leg into the band. Top hands anchoring with the band against the top hip. Hand goes down to the mat. Keep the, hat, the hips stacked one on top of the other and try and lift that top leg as straight and as high as you can without moving the rest of your spine. Nice straight leg. Now bend the knee and bend the elbow and then push them out together in a straight line. Let's straighten the arm over the head, straighten the leg and push it as high as you can. Really great for the top side of our body, our waist, our abs, our shoulders. Hold the band. Let's do eight little pulses. Keep going. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. You'll feel that in those top of those hips and those shoulders. Nothing is spared. Okay. Let's come now back onto the mat. Grab hold of your band again. And we're coming into a four point kneeling position. So I want just one foot into your band. So if you stand, it's often easier to get into it. Just so the back ball of the foot, arch of the foot is in your band and just one knee so we'll start with our right knee is between the ends of the band, but the left knee is free of the band. Make sure both hands are pushing down into the ends and you'll just extend the right leg out behind you, a nice straight spine. Knee comes under the hip, exhale to extend it straight. Keep drawing abdominals up here, nice long neck. Don't be tempted to look down to see what your foot is doing. Just try and keep a straight leg. Inhale in, exhale to extend. Now, 
extend the opposite arm, keep the right leg extended, your left leg will punch out to create a straight line from your left little finger to your right toes. Extend the arm out and pull it back in, arm and leg are reaching out and hold. Now keep the right leg extended, hand goes back down and just pulse the right leg up, little ones towards the ceiling, four more, three, two, and one. Well done. Flex the spine into a nice rounded position. Cat stretch. And you release. All right, let's switch feet. So left foot now can go into the band. Take the right knee out of your band. Both hands will be directly under the shoulders holding the ends of the band and extend your left leg out straight. Breathing out to press. Inhale with the knee back under the hip. Exhale and inhale. Try not to move anything else, just the hip, the knee, pushing into that band, out. Head nice and long, neck is relaxed, extend that leg, you hold it. Now the right arm will pick up the end of the band and punch out in front of you. Four more, three, two, Last one, hold the arm and the leg, little balance. Place the hand down, now just pulse that left leg, tiny ones, up to the ceiling, straight leg, four more, three, two, and one. Bend that knee, rest it down, taking the knees and the feet out of the band, sit back gently towards your heels, into a nice shell stretch to relax your lower back, upper mid back. Big deep breath in here and out. Just come into a nice easy cat stretch, extend your spine once round the lower back to the ceiling, upper mid back to the ceiling. Inhale, look slightly up as you push your sitting bones away and then come back to sit again once more into that shell stretch. You're gonna place the band now round your upper mid back, place it underneath the arms and then come to lie flat down on the mat. Feet will be mat distance apart. Hands will be a mat distance apart or slightly wider if you feel you need more release for your shoulders. Push gently through the ends of the band and just lift the upper mid back and look slightly forward with your eye line. Slide the shoulders down. Feel you're lifting your head in line with the rest of your spine. And then slowly relax the head down. Let's breathe in to lift and naturally open the collarbones, the ribs. Exhale to lower back. Now I'm taking the band, I'm just gonna wrap it around my forearms, just so it stays a little bit more secure because we're going to reach one arm straight and the opposite leg and it just stops that band from rolling up and off your mid back here. So let's reach opposite arm and leg. The leg stays absolutely still. Try and lift from your hip and your shoulder here. No bent knees. Exhale, use your abdominal strength to lift and lower. Now try lifting both legs just a little way off the floor. Doesn't need to be too high. Use that glute strength, lumbar strength to exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Now we're gonna try lifting both arms and the legs and we're going swimming. Here we go, opposite arm and legs. Gently, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, good. 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep those legs and arms moving. Keep the head still, just the hips, just the shoulders, nearly there. Last four, three, two, last one. Well done, rest the arms, the legs. And you've earned a nice release for your lower back here. Gently sit back towards the heels and rest your head down to the mat. Take this time to take a really good deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, I'm gonna have you come back now to lie onto your back. Head is down, knees are bent, feet hip distance apart. Let's again start with your 
right foot into the band. And you're going to place the band again right around the ball of the foot so it doesn't slip off, holding each end of your band in your hands, head resting, left foot flat down in contact with the floor. Let's lift the hips as you raise the right leg. And once you're lifted, bend that right knee. Exhale, keeping the hips off, straighten the leg. Keep it straight as you lift, lower and back in. So reach low, lift, lower, back in. So it's a little combination of a bend and a stretch and a lower and lift all the time, staying up in that shoulder bridge. Try and maintain the pelvis nice and level. Keep the knees level as you come in, straighten and then lift and lower. So really challenging the balance, coordination between your right and left sides of your body. Lift and lower, good. Gently lower the hips and then let's switch feet. Let's try that on the other side. Right foot flat, left foot into your band, Head, neck, shoulders stay in contact with the mat and roll the hips up into a good strong shoulder bridge. Now bend that left knee, extend the leg out straight, then lift, lower, bend it in, extend it up, lift, lower, pull it in. Keep those elbows down in contact with the mat, eye line directly towards the ceiling, lift, lower, pull the knee in, exhale out, up, down, back in, good reach. Lift the leg, lower and in. Good job. Keep reaching that leg back and up, down. Keep breathing and then lowering that hip. Well done. Let's switch feet again so the right foot goes back into your band. Left foot back down in contact with the floor. Rolling the hips Back up again, the right leg stays straight. This time you're just lowering the hips and lifting, little pulses. It's like you're pushing a hole through the ceiling with your right foot, through the band to the ceiling. Keep the pelvis level, lift and lower. Don't quite touch the ground. And then roll back down. Let's do that on the left side. Right foot goes back down in contact with the floor. Lift the hips up, lower and lift, inhale. Exhale, down, up, four. Keep pushing that hole through the ceiling. Two more. A last one, all the way up, and gently roll the hips back down. Well done. Let's put both feet into the band now and stretch out through those legs. So just drawing the elbows down, a little bend in both knees, and extend the legs. Maybe try pulling the toes gently towards you, towards the legs, pushing the heels towards the ceiling so we get some nice ankle mobility and stretch through the calves. Let's stretch now the one leg out along the mat. Keep your right foot in the band and gently allow that right leg to cross the body for a little stretch on the outside of our right leg. Feels good after all that work we've done in the band. Let's go gently again, don't go too far. Just gently feel a stretch on the outside of the right hip. Bring the leg gently towards you and then let's switch. Right leg out along the mat, nice and straight. Left leg in the band. Take the leg across the body. You might feel this gently behind the knee and across the left hip. And again, out to the right with that left leg. A little stretch into the back of the leg slowly as well. You can bring the leg towards you. You've earned that stretch. Taking the feet out of the band now, just roll the hips up, reach the arms slightly up and behind the head, and then smooth the roll back down through your spine, one vertebrae at a time. Cross the right leg over the left leg. And just let those knees come towards the left. You can let the head turn in the opposite direction so you get a nice full body twist. Left leg now lifts, cross it over the right and let the knees drop to the right as you gently let your head turn to your left. Nice stretch, full body twist. Take your time with these stretches. And roll gently onto your side, push yourself up to sit. 
I'm sitting cross-legged, you can always prop yourself up on a block if you need to. Good. Grab hold of your band again, take the arms up with the band, slightly pull the band into the chest to extend and then drive the arms forward to flex the spine. Head, neck, shoulders in one long alignment, inhale, pull the band to the chest, exhale, stretch forward. It's just a nice opener for the spine and the chest. Let's go into a little side bend here. You can keep hold of the band if you want, just gives you a nice little bit of extra stretch and resistance for the arms. Inhale through center, exhale, you go over into a good side bend. Take your time on these stretches. You've worked hard. Inhale, coming back through center. Let's wrap that band around our mid-back now. Cross it once in front of you on your ribs. Just turn to the, uh, rotate to the back, lean into it, come back to center, turn, have a little lean, and back. So it gives you a little twist, and lean. Gives your spine a good sense of opening out after that workout. Inhale as you come back through the center, Stretch the arms out, dropping the band, reach them forward, bending over the legs, wherever you feel is comfortable here. Inhale as you come back up, shrug the shoulders to the ears a couple of times. Big inhale, take the arms over the head. Exhale to release them back down by your sides. What an amazing job you've done. Thank you so much for joining me.